This is DSU News with Shane Nasty, baby! Oh, yes. The teaser gave me all I needed to get hyped about this one. I love the whole New Year music playing in the background, but it looks like we have some religious shit going down, some ritualistic shit as well, or maybe it's all in one. Obviously violence, but how violent? You think it'll be as nasty as 94? Do you want it to be as nasty as 94? Because I do. I want some nasty, vile shit. This one is based on, you know, in a time before the millennium, just as it's coming, right? Lots to work with, man. I mean, like I said in the past videos, man, you got the, the whole Y2K thing, you know? The internet in its infancy. You just got a lot to work with. So let's look at some of the nastiness. You already know, when you have a party with kids involved, shit's going down. And what's this? A sacrificial lamb? But I got a question. How can you call it a sacrifice if the person you're killing isn't willing to be isn't willing to die? <laughs> that I don't know, that, that term's always tripped me out though. But I mean, am I making sense or am I just talking about my ass? Anyhow, then you have this creepy ass thing in the middle of the road or somewhere in, it, in the dark. This almost looks like something I saw from a movie that I just reviewed recently. I won't spoil what, which review it is, but those who know, I'm sure you feel me. Now this is what I'm talking about, dude. Melting faces and shit, dude. I love it. I can't wait to see what's going on in this part, in this, uh, this story. And dude, I hate spiders. This, this simple shot alone freaks me the hell out, dude. Trapped somewhere and you got a fucking spider on your face, dude? Ooh. You got more blood and violence, which is always good. Now, what do you think this is, dude? It looks like maybe a succubus of some type, dude, on top of somebody and and eating them or sucking them dry or some kind of shit, dude. Regardless, though, it's got me curious. <laughs> now, this looks painful. Vaccination time. My man is cutting the competition in half. Then, of course, you got the celebration, bitches. Welcome to the Y2K, baby. Dude, I gotta admit, I love that Ozzy sign. <laughs> and shoot, I mean, that's all, man. I mean, to me, it looks good to me. And honestly, I don't even think we need a full trailer. This teaser did enough, man. I mean, it surely, this surely wet my appetite enough until it's released. I mean, you literally just have a month from now. I mean, what do you guys think? Are you feeling it? Do you need more? I just, actually, I'll just say this. I just need at least two good stories out of this one, and I'm good. Anything else is a bonus. You gotta remember... The directors for this one, uh, that are set for these stories, you got Ma Maggie Levin, who did Into the Dark, My Valentine. You got Johan Roberts, who did <laughs> Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. This is the one that I'm really mostly concerned about, dude, when it comes to the stories. They also got Flying Lotus, who did Kuso. Also, Tyler uh, McIntyre, Tragedy Girls. You also have Joseph and Vanessa Winter, who did Deadstream, which is actually releasing this October as well. So I'm curious if uh, this is going to be the last of the series or will they go back and make more VHS movies or will they go digital, go the digital route? I don't know. Maybe we'll get some sort of tease or something in VHS 99, which is coming October 20th, folks. And you know a review is going to come for that one. But in the meantime, if you got a chance, check out my review of VHS 94. I got it right there. Just look up there. Just click it. Click it and check it out. But hey, anyhow, stay nasty, my friends. Be sure to slice open that like button to get to the subscribe one. Because on our Don't Split Up channel, hell has never been so cool. Shay Nasty out. And now, trailer talk with Shay Nasty. Psst. Yo, come here, man. Yo, have you heard about that new movie? Oh, <laughs> oh,